When you buy this kit from the hobbyist.co.nz website, you will receive the Arduino, a USB Type-B cable, a temperature and humidity sensor, some cables, a prototyping breadboard, and an Arduino prototyping board, which is used to make your weather station more permanent than the breadboard after you have finished building it for the first time. Now the first thing you're going to have to do is build the kit. Now building it is extremely easy, um, it's also the most fun part in my opinion. Uh, you'll have to go to the hobbyist.co.nz website, um, navigate to where you bought it from, and you'll find a page which has information on how to build it. That goes through everything from coding to plugging ev all the individual components in, it goes through everything. So that makes it um, extremely easy. The next thing we're going to be talking about is coding. Now code is what makes your Arduino run. So even though you've built it, um, there's still a little computer that doesn't know what to do. Basically what happens is the sensor will send information to the Arduino and the Arduino will then send information to the screen. Um, you can't send information straight to the screen because you have to do um, the information isn't good enough for the screen to start off with. So what you, your code is in between. Now a lot, of the, a lot of the code you'll need is on the website. You can just copy and paste that into your Arduino IDE. Um, now the good thing about coding is that you can modify it however you want. You can add features, you can remove features. Um, they, in the kits they actually include a light sensor so you can uh, use that sensor, sensor, integrate that. Maybe you want to detect when it's daytime and nighttime. Hook it up to your computer. There's heaps and heaps of opportunities. Now if you've never done coding before you might find it a bit difficult so what I would recommend is going to the internet searching for some Arduino programming tutorials and you'll pick it up really fast. If you've done any sort of programming before it will be super easy um, but again if you get stuck then just head over to the internet and search up for some tutorials and you'll be sweet. Now the last step is to power it up and take it outside. I've got mine powered with a battery. Thanks for watching.